the Herb Run, one of the most popular money making methods within old school RuneScape. In this video I will go over all of the different herb patches, bonus items and a full herb run in less than 5 minutes. There is 9 different herb patches around the world map. The options in white are the most efficient ways to get to the herb patch south of Falador. The quickest teleport is the Explorer's Ring which is limited in the amount of teleports depending on the Lumbridge and Drainer Diary tier you have completed. This will take you in the middle of the cabbage field right beneath the farming patches. With level 83 in farming, you can also plant a spirit tree next to the pub and run north. Next, we have the herb patch in Ketherby, with the Ketherby teleport tablet being the quickest teleport. You could also use the Camelot teleport spell from the standard magic spellbook. The third patch is located north of Ardoin. An Ardoin cloak 2 or higher will get you directly at the farm patches but is also limited in the amount of teleports depending on the Ardoin diary tier you have completed. All of the other options are quite similar in speed, but the skills necklace and the combat bracelet are just a little bit quicker. West of Port Fasmatis, we have some more farm patches. As this is located in Mauritania, you will need to have completed the quest Priest in Pearl. The quickest way would be to use the fairy ring code ALQ and run north. A fairy ring in your house is one of the easiest ways to access one. A very popular teleport is using the ectophile. To get to the patches southwest of Fosidius, the easiest way is to use the Xerix Talisman to Xerix Glade. A redirected house tab to Hosidius portal is also quite quick. Once you have 50% in Hosidius favor, the farm patches will be disease free, so you don't have to worry about your herbs dying. A stony basil teleport will get you to the troll stronghold extremely quickly. With level 73 in agility and the completion of the hard Fremnic diary, the teleport destination is changed to be on the stronghold roof, past the climbing rocks shortcut. To use a patch, you will need to have completed my armor's big adventure. Also, this patch is disease free. An icy basalt teleport will get you next to the herb patch in Weiss. To have access, you will need to have completed the quest making friends with my arm. Also, you will have to make a fire of nourishment to be able to grow herbs here. This costs you like 20k in items if you would buy it from the ground exchange. However, this will require level 35 in construction and 66 in fire making. This patch is also disease free. To enter the part in the farming guild with a herb patch, you will need to have level 65 in farming to be able to access it, together with 60% in Hosidius favor. A skills necklace will be the quickest way to access, just like a farming cape. You can also plant a spirit tree in the advanced tier or use the fairy ring code CIR and run southwest. The ninth herb patch is located on Harmony Island. This one is the hardest to unlock with the Elite Mauritania Diary as a requirement. The easiest way to get here is by using a Harmony Island teleport or a Muscle Harmus teleport scroll. Some bonus items I would definitely recommend are the bottomless bucket, which can be filled with any type of compost. For every bucket of compost you add, you'll get two uses. It can store up to 10,000 uses and just always use Ultra Compost to get the highest amount of herbs and the least chance in your herbs becoming diseased. Magic Secutors, which will yield an extra 10% on all farming patches. Plant an Atlas Seed at the Farming Guild to get an extra 5% chance to save a life on all farming patches. The Farming Cape, which will yield an extra 5% on all farming patches. If you would complete the following diaries, this will be the extra advantages for the following patches. 10% more XP south of Felador, 5-15% to extra yield in Catherby, and 5% extra yield in the Farming Guild. I already discussed the disease-free patches, you are able to get 3 in total, being the one in Trollheim, Weiss and Hosidius. Complete the 2 quests with my arm and have at least 50% Hosidius favor. Per patch, you can expect to harvest between a minimum of 6 and a maximum of 20 herbs, with 9 being the all-time average. With a higher level and all of the bonuses, this average could be even 10 or more. If you would get 9 herbs on average per patch, with the today's prices, you would profit 
23.5k per patch for, for Narweed, 21.5k for Toadflex, 17k for Torso, and 20k for Snapdragon. This will make you between 150k and 210k if you have unlocked all 9 patches and if you're using Ultra Compost. There are some other herbs which will profit you like 15k as well, such as Quarms or Cadentines, and I would suggest you to use those as the herb seeds are way cheaper and if your herb plants were to die, you would not lose quite an amount of money for just one seed. Before ending this video, here's a sped up rundown for you to see how long it takes me to harvest all of the herb patches. This wraps up the video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and comment your runescape username if you would like to participate in the giveaway i'll see you in the next one